Welcome back to another episode of the Extreme Lifestyle Living Podcast. I'm your Thursday host, Emma. So on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about finding a workout routine that feels good for you. Now, this is going to be different for everybody, obviously, as everyone has different things in their life, different schedules, different points of resistance, and just different things that you have to manage on a daily and a weekly basis. So this is going to be kind of like a generalized thing, some tips and tricks that I've found that have helped for me, and then also would have helped some of my clients as well in finding just that balance and a schedule that really works best for you. For so many years, when I first started my fitness journey, I was definitely one of those girls that thought that I had to go to the gym seven days a week. I had to do like an hour of cardio. Well, maybe not an hour, but I would say probably half an hour to an hour of cardio every workout session and then would have to be hitting the weights. And I would be at the gym for like two and a half hours sort of thing. And that's what I was doing seven days a week. And I had made that a part of my routine, made that a part of my lifestyle. I was, I would literally plan things in my life around going to the gym. That was my top priority, which I think is something that a lot of people don't necessarily have that mindset when they're starting their journey. And then they wonder sometimes why it's a little bit harder for them to stick to things is it's because you're not really making it a priority. I used to wake up on a Saturday morning and the first thing I would think about doing is going to the gym. Yes, I would have social events and things that I needed to do after. I would be going out that night with my friends, all that sort of stuff. But that main thing that I made sure happened was going to the gym. And like I said, I was doing this seven days a week, which honestly wasn't really healthy. But I mean, also at that time, I wasn't really working out super hard or anything like that either. But it still was just a lot of wasted time and I really didn't need to be working out quite as much as what I was doing at that time either. But I didn't know what I was doing, first of all. I wasn't following any sort of program or anything like that. Like, I just literally would wake up, go to the gym, train what I felt like training. I'd walk in and be like, okay, like, I think I'll train upper body today. My shoulders feel good, so let me train shoulders. And I used to be obsessed with training back and shoulders. Those were definitely my favorite days. So, I trained those all the time. And I actually, fun fact, used to hate training legs, whereas now that's one of my favorite things to train. But when I first started working out, I absolutely hated it. And honestly, I think that was probably a little bit of like a self-conscious thing deep down as I was self-conscious and just wasn't happy with how my legs looked and didn't feel like I was really able to see or notice the progress that I would make on those leg days quite so much as what I would notice when I would train my upper body. I found it was really easy to notice that progress, which then obviously helped to motivate me, keep me accountable and keep me going and doing those workouts. And it was so much easier to see like the definition in my shoulders or the muscles in my back. So I'd be wearing a tank top or a sports bra and really be able to see that stuff. But I was still really too self-conscious to wear shorts at the gym. So I'd be in leggings all the time. You couldn't really see any changes I guess you could say or I couldn't notice any changes so that really didn't motivate me to stick to it and really give it my all when it came to doing my leg days and it's really funny thinking back and thinking back to that mindset because now like I'm obsessed with training legs like I love training all parts of my body now pretty much equally but I love training legs now the seven days a week like I'm not going to say it didn't work for me but I'm not going to say it did work for me I was under eating every day And then I would binge eat and drink on the weekends and would still be working out seven days a week, going to work, all that sort of stuff. And I think it was leading me to a lot of burnout that I didn't really notice at the time or I didn't really understand that I was feeling at the time either. And like I said, I wasn't very intentional with my workout. So yeah, I was going to the gym seven days a week, but I wasn't implementing progressive overload. There wasn't any thought behind which exercises or what kind of sequence I was doing my exercises in no thought process behind how many days a week I'm training each body part or anything like that. Like that just wasn't part of me going to the gym, right? Like I was just going to the gym, felt good, did a few exercises that I liked and that I enjoyed doing. And that's what I would do day after day, week after week. It wasn't until like I'd kind of followed this for a long time. I hadn't really taken rest days or incorporated rest days really until I actually invested and bought my first program. And there was two rest days a week programmed in there. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, what am I going to do on these days? And 
of course, like many people, a lot of my clients, when they come to me, they're kind of in that sort of routine that I was in of going seven days a week, but not really doing anything intentional and just really not really seeing those results that you really want to be seeing. And a lot of times when ladies come to me and I start programming for them and I'm talking to them about rest days and those types of things, it's something that can be kind of challenging for women to grasp and to be okay with and not feel guilty about is taking those rest days and taking those days off for yourself, both physically and also mentally as well, because it is, your body needs it. Your body needs its rest. I work out right now five days a week. So then that means I have two days of rest. One day is kind of like an active rest day. Like maybe I'll go for a hike or a nice long walk, do some mobility, some stretching, that sort of stuff at home. And then one of those days is literally nothing. Like I'll obviously still get my 10,000 steps for that day, but I'm not doing anything strenuous or anything too crazy. Like that's typically one of my days where it's a little bit less work, or maybe I do a little bit more admin stuff. And it's just one of those days where it's really more so for me to kind of recharge and regroup and kind of reset myself for the following days when it comes to my workouts, my nutrition, my habits, and just my general mindset and mood. So I think when it comes to finding a workout routine that works for you, something that a lot of people make so many like Something that I find people make a mistake with is thinking you need to do so much. Thinking you need to work out more, eat less, and try harder when actually you need to work out less, eat more, and try harder, but in a more intentional way. You know, so it's interesting because breaking free of that mindset of feeling guilty about taking time off the gym is something that's difficult, but something that you need to kind of work and be conscious of and have sort of tools and resources and routines that you can fall back on for yourself that do make you feel good, even if it's not going to the gym that day. Because if you've been going to the gym seven days a week for the last however many years, yeah, of course, it's going to feel hard to all of a sudden start taking one or two days off during the week from your workouts. But the amount of strength gains I have made, physical progress I've made, I don't feel run down and feel like I get to this point of like pure exhaustion anymore. And I feel like my workouts are so much better. I'm able to hit my workouts with that much more intensity, that much more strength and just drive in doing my workouts and doing my movements than when I was working out seven days a week or maybe just doing too much at a time. And that's that's something that's tough for a lot of people to understand is sometimes you're not seeing results because you're actually doing too much. And that can kind of be a tough thing to swallow, but honestly, wouldn't you rather have it that way where maybe you're doing a little bit too much and you have to actually develop that mindset and develop that routine around being okay with taking a day off or being okay with taking a break than not doing enough and needing to add in two or three days of going to the gym or just needing to start and build that routine for yourself, it's a lot easier for you to kind of back off things a little bit and be a little bit more intentional with the workouts and movements that you are doing. Because when I was doing that seven days a week, yeah, I was going seven days a week, but I wasn't following a program. I wasn't doing anything intentional. So I wasn't actually seeing the results that I wanted to see. It wasn't until I kind of invested in myself, invested into a program for myself that was methodically planned out and just had structure to it and incorporated rest days, incorporated progressive overload and consistency when it came to workouts and specific exercises. That's when I really started seeing those real results and prioritizing that time for myself outside of the gym because your results don't just happen in those walls of the gym or wherever it is you're working out. It could be at home or whatever it may be, but that's not just where your results are built. A lot of, if not most of your results are actually built in that time outside of there. It's what you do outside of the gym, those habits that you keep with you on a daily and a weekly basis to help fuel your body, keep your mindset right. And all those sorts of things that are actually going to get you to your results that much faster versus going to the gym seven days a week, doing cardio, doing random exercises all the time, and just not really, like almost just spinning your tires. You're seeing a little bit of progress, but never really getting to that goal that you want. 
So many of my clients work out three days a week, four days a week, five days a week, and they see fantastic results. It's easy enough to manage within their schedule. It doesn't feel like something daunting that they have to do so many workouts each week. It's flexible for them too, so that if something comes up and they can't make their scheduled workout for, say, Thursday, they still have that flexible time within their schedule where they can kind of adjust it for a later point in that week and still be able to hit that workout and get that workout in and being okay with that too. And really helping my clients to understand that taking rest days is yes for your physical, but also so much of it is for your mental benefits as well. You can lose weight going to the gym three times a week. You can lose weight working out at home three times a week. You can do it four times a week. You can do it five times a week because we also have lives too, right? Like we work, we have social commitments, we have families or whatever it may be that kind of gives us resistance at some point. So if you're trying to balance all those sorts of things while also trying to go to the gym seven days a week and always feeling kind of like unmotivated and demoralized because you're never really seeing those results that you want to be seeing and you kind of feel like you're spinning your tires and wasting your time. It doesn't have to be like that. You don't have to go to the gym seven days a week. You don't have to do endless, endless amounts of cardio to get to your goals. You can work out three, four or five days a week. You can eat the foods that you want to be eating without heavy restrictions or fad diets and still achieve those goals that you want to achieve. I've had many clients that I work with and that I've worked with in the past that have lost 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 50 pounds by just going to the gym three days a week, four days a week, and being mindful with their nutrition, not heavily restricting themselves, but eating the foods that they love, fueling their bodies properly, and allowing themselves little treats or sweets every now and then, but and really being okay with like developing that mindset around taking rest days and taking time off, not just for their physical health, but for their mental health as well, to help them to not feel so drained or not get to a point of exhaustion or feeling run down or getting overtired and those types of things. It just really helps to be mindful because then you can sort of reset, refocus and be ready for your next string of days or whatever that may be. And So many clients that I work with and that I have worked with in the past have been in that cycle of working out seven days a week and doing these heavily restrictive diets and just kind of giving their all all the time, endless hours of cardio and but never seeing those results that they really want. And they get really frustrated. And of course you feel frustrated because you're doing all these things. You're trying so hard. You're restricting yourself in all these different areas, but you're not seeing results from it. And it's sometimes not until you kind of take that step back and find out what it is that really works for you specifically, because we all have different schedules. We all have different work schedules. We all have different demands when it comes to our family and the intensity of our job and all those types of things. So it really needs to be a solution specific to you when it comes to scheduling your workouts, when it comes to how frequently you're working out and all those types of things, because it's not just a one size fits all, but something that I think a lot of people over stress is that it has to be so much when it doesn't need to be seven days a week. It doesn't need to be two and a half hours in the gym. It doesn't need to be 10 exercises each workout. It doesn't need to be crazy heavy restrictions when it comes to your diet. It can be smaller habits and smaller changes. It can be three days a week in the gym, four days a week, five days a week in the gym. You're still able to see and build those really great results because wouldn't you rather be going to the gym consistently three or four days a week for the rest of your life versus trying to go to the gym seven days a week and just that's not sustainable long-term. That's not easy to be maintained long-term either. And you're probably going to get thrown off of that routine from time to time. And that can be difficult to handle and difficult to manage versus if you develop that routine and that healthy habits and healthy lifestyle that really works for you, that is intentional, that isn't just kind of throwing things at the wall and hoping it'll work when you're putting so much effort into things like going to the gym seven days a week, but you're doing 10 different exercises each workout and you're always switching it up that's not going to get you to the results that you need. It's more simple than that. It's more 
not going to say easy, but it's not as difficult as what you make it out to be in your head. And I didn't start seeing the actual results that I wanted to see until I developed that mindset and started being okay with taking rest days and taking time for my physical self, but also for my mental and being intentional with investing into a workout program that had specific exercises lined out for me with intention and with purpose and reasoning behind it and reasoning behind the sequences of the exercises you're doing and all those types of things that are going to get you to your goals that much faster than if you have no plan, you're just kind of winging it and just kind of trying to go, I guess for lack of the better term, balls to the wall, like to get it all done when it's not realistic and it just adds extra stress and pressure onto yourself and onto your schedule. So if you take something from this, I hope it's that you take a look at your workout schedule or when you're thinking about starting the gym and it feels so daunting because you're like, how do I fit these seven workouts in each week when I have a family and I have to work and I have social commitments and all these types of things. I need to get groceries and oh my gosh, I need to meal prep too. Like take a step back, think about what you can do to kind of start yourself into that journey. If you don't work out at all, start with one day a week, start with two days a week, start with going for a walk, start with prepping your meals for your lunches, make small changes. And it doesn't have to be this drastic all or nothing approach. And like I said, I didn't start seeing those real results until I scaled back my workouts to five days a week, focused on progressive overload, had that right workout frequency, and also the sequencing when it comes to which exercises I was doing. Only doing four, maybe six exercises per workout because you don't need to be doing so many different things. It's actually simpler than that. So That's it for this week's episode of the Extreme Lifestyle Living Podcast. Thank you for tuning in to my Thursday episode. Be sure to check out Trey's episode every Mondays, and I'll see you next Thursday. Uh,